Es que tú me hiciste ni una fotito juntando. Dime foto, hoy. ¿Cuándo tú me la vas a mandar? ¿Cuándo tú me la vas a mandar? Te voy a dar la memoria, chaval. La de... La... All right, guys, it's Charles Austin here with Liga Blue Cabaret in Cabaret. Bit of an awkward intro because everyone's here making it awkward. They're all trying to get photos. But uh, they don't realize it's a video. It is what it is. So today is day two of Ben. Ben is there learning. Ben, let's go so we don't waste time. See, you got to be a strict instructor when you're going. We had a great session today, super good wind anywhere between 18 to 25 knots. And now what we gotta do is make sure that Ben remembers what he was doing on the first day. And we're gonna try to go to the next stage, which is hopefully getting him on his knees, standing more consistently and riding. So Ben. What's up guys? What do you, what do you remember from last session? We control, four control, let's see today, so. You think you're gonna do better than last time? Uh, who knows, so. Who knows? Let's find out. Let's find out. Ah, oh, you brought the knee guards today. Yeah. Thought you had tough knees. No. No? All right. Anyways, so we're going to test out this chest mount instead. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Uh, what we're going to do, Ben, I'm going to ride the foil up, up to the upper part of the bay, and then we'll go riding. But make sure you take off your leash and make sure you got your helmet, impact vest. This time, this time we don't have to switch helmets, which is good. I have my helmet, he's got uh, his, and we got our impact vest. So, in any case, let's get riding. There we go. You guys are on camera. A what? Un vikingo. All right. Uh, ben, you want to help me out? Just bring the board closer to the Alauria. You guys think Ben's going to get riding today? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All righty. Let's see. Let's see. Ben, we got about a good 30 minutes ahead of us. We got about 30 minutes ahead of us. Grab the board. Oh, oh, a bit sideways. Alrighty, so we're gonna get this ridden up the top. And then we will see how this all goes down. Let's see, let's see. Also, I don't know how this chest mount's gonna be for for wing foiling. Tried it out kiting. The hands are in the middle all of the time, obviously. Here, forget the wing always in the center, but it's a good test. Let's see what's up. All right. Whoop. Ah. All right. We've got a nice day. We had bigger waves before. Now we don't have that big waves. I don't know if it's big on video. It's not that big. Oh. Ah. Righty.
Get our board attached. Now it's a little bit windier, so it's perfect. You know, don't worry to go out far. Further the better. Just make sure you come back, like where we always start. You know. Yeah. Right now we just gotta start where you left off. See what you were moving. Put it a bit tighter, at least. Like move your yeah behind the wall. Grab your wool. I got your board. Try to do first exercise just on your knees. You know, get on your knees. Remember to lean in. I'll hold on to you the first time. I'll hold on to you. Get on to the side. Get on to the side here. Try to go out on your knees and lean into the wind, all right? Try to really go up into the wind. Yeah, but do it on your knees first for a little bit, see it pull you, and then try to stand, all right? Go into the wind, into the wind, into the wind. More, 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 into the wind. Turn your hips. All right, there he is. Be a little bit more aggressive with our learning today. Try to stand. Try to stand. Try to stand. Right. Moving. Uh, so that's something new for Ben right now. That something that's new for him is that he's using a smaller wing. So a smaller wing is going to be a lot faster or more responsive, more reactive than a larger wing like he was using last time. And even though it's just one meter difference, it is a difference. And especially with strong wind, anything you do, you're gonna feel it more aggressive. So here he's having a new element that was not previous in his last lesson. He's adapting all conditions. As you can tell, look at the water rippling. It looks like Forest of Ventura or something. Anyways. We're going to see, he's checking everything, he's on his knees again, he's uh, trying to position himself, all right, looking good, he's looking solid, he's really trying to angle himself in the right way, but let's see this, because sometimes you angle yourself in the right way, and then once you pull on the wing, boop, you go downwind right away, really to learn how to control your hips, your legs, your knees, to pull you into the wind using your core and then using the wing as well to help counter that strength that you're putting so that you can go up into the wind. So let's see. So now, boom, he's pulling. He's doing a little bit better, to be honest. Still, still a slight downwind angle. It's like half-half. You know, it's the second day. We can, we can see how he does. All right? He's standing first foot forward. It's taking too long to stand. Boom, he's up. Not as long, feeling the power, and then, and then down. All right. So here you can see this sort of gray cloud. It's very strange. It's gonna pass though. Uh, it was sunny before. Very sunny before. It's a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see out there. A lot of kites. Maybe a good hundred. 
at hundred. Ben, Ben's looking at me, trying to identify. Does he come in? Go out. I tell him go out, further out. No, further out, further out, further. Let's see. We're giving him the sign. All right, we got it. When you're learning how to kite, when you're learning how to wing coil, a couple signs you got to learn. You have to sign that you don't want. But now he gets it. We're going to give it a shot. See if we can get him on camera from far. Digital zoom. Might not see much. I'll voice it over. So he's on his knees. Controlling the wing, keeping it above his head. He's trying to stand. Boop, boom. He's popped up. All right. And the wing pulled him over entirely. So this is what happens. On your first session, you're going to have all kinds of mistakes popping up. And at some point in time, it might almost seem hopeless. You might almost say, like, this is not for me. I'm not going to make it happen. But I tell you, you have to keep on. Because no one here has grasped this sport in one single day. You know, this is a sport that takes, it's a lifetime of learning in reality. You're always going to be learning. There's never a peak where you say, oh, I can't learn anymore. All right. Ben is going out further than he. He probably thinks he's like almost in Cuba right now. He's only around 200 meters offshore. Maybe not even. We have a couple few facts for him when he comes back. Which is when he's standing on the board, he's gonna really want to try to plant himself. Imagining like he's standing on land, really gripping in his toes, his heels, so that he feels like he's connected to the board and not totally um, light or being too light, you know. Because that's the thing, a lot of times people are too light on the board, they're scared to damage it, they're scared to step on it, and then next thing you know, they're always falling off uh, with a little chop with a little bit too much wind or whatever it is. So you really want to plant yourself, ground yourself, get in a bit of a warrior stance so that, so that basically you're not just at the whim of anything happening. Good thing is here, he's still deciding to go further out, which is super. That's gonna give him a lot of practice coming back in. Good, good, thanks for the upwind. Uh, he is looking at another individual. And I can see he put his wing down, so he's just going into them. That's that typical uh, accident that happens where you could be in a parking lot by yourself riding a motorcycle and then all of a sudden, boom, you hit a light pole and there's only one light pole in that whole parking. It's that when you start focusing on something, you start going towards it, which is why it's always important to look where you want to go. A lot of people look towards, look downwind and they're like, why am I going downwind? And it's because you're looking down. That can change. That could change everything. Alright. Ben is out there. Probably considering to come back to the import store. Because, uh. Oh, he's muking. Gust coming through 23, 25 knots. Right over here. Super strong wind. There's someone that's next to him learning. You're not gonna probably see this on the camera, but they've actually been out there. I saw them yesterday, and they've been doing good, being able to taxi up and down on their knees, staying up. I think at this point she could probably get standing up more. I see her standing up today, but she's at least keeping her ground when she's out there. And that's a nice thing when you're practicing, is being able to at least get up to when you started or near. You know, when you always look down there, you get a little bit of weight having to carry up the floor and whatnot. But of course, in the beginning, like I said, don't be too hard on yourself because it's a multi hour sport to learn. And the progress continues. So once you get down to the basics, I'd always say, I'd always say that. The basics that you want to get to in a sport, at what point in time would I say, ah, okay, maybe I could start practicing by myself? 
that's when I know I can go in and out of the water alone, as well as be able to go out and in where I started. Whether that's on my knees, whether that's foiling, ideally foiling, if I can go out to sea or on a lake or wherever it is and make it back to where I started or make it back to where I want to go, that's when you're at that point of sort of independent where you can move off of having lessons. Maybe you still want supervision, but at that point you just need to practice, practice, practice. You need water time. You need gas through the tank, like they say in motorcycling. You know, that's how you practice and that's how you, you're going to get better. Now I see Ben, he's going to be coming back. Let's see if on his way back he, he's a little bit stronger. We're gonna have to check this out. I'm gonna try to get him on video here. This guy who's riding is not Ben. Ben is in the water, figuring out how to flip over the wing again. Oh, he is in a little bit stuck. The wing is wrapped around. All right, maybe he's pretty down. Oh, we have to go. We have to go downwind. I see him though. Organized on his own. The only thing that, even though it has a digital zoom, it's a little bit tricky to see him in action. But now he's on his knees coming back towards shore. Looking confident. Wing control still needs to work on it on his way back in so this is good that's why it's important to go as far out as you can safely so that you have a lot of space to practice both directions a lot of people get very strong on one side but then they completely forget about the other side and then they're struggling so you really want to try to get as good as you can on both sides and practice as much as you can but what we're gonna do with Ben on his next run we're gonna test him we're gonna say Ben let's spend some time on our knees just do one or two runs on our knees so that we can get a little bit better taxing ourselves around and with that without him knowing it's actually going to help his wing control skills and also a little bit of balance just being on the board while moving and then if for some reason he's getting on foil while he's on his knees then what we're gonna have to do here we got a winger then what we're gonna have to do is um start letting him know to put some weight forward which we'll also mention it to him so before he goes out, he knows that if he feels the board lifting, it's because he is uh, getting on foil. He's having enough speed to foil and some weight backwards. So anyways, I'm gonna have to probably put this camera down soon on my chest. All right, so flip it in. I feel a lot of current right here. We have a lot of swell. Of current, so I actually need a double time here. I think it's too far. No, he already, he already thinks he's too slow. Alright, let's see if we can feel the current pulling me. the board and pull the wing. Pull the wing. And hold it like that. Boop. You guys don't see this learning some speed. Mm -hmm. 
We're talking up at the top, but basically, we're just an exercise to find that girl where she's underneath. You know, so you can get comfortable just like this. Because when you're going, you're going like this down, you need to bring the board up. It's all, it's all in your hips. You bring the board up, and I keep the weight stable. You see this? And then not moving the wing, just chilling. All right, Ben. Let's meet at the top. All right, Ben said he's doing a lot of power. Doing a lot of power. You know, getting in the habit of this, you probably don't see it. I'm just standing on the board, nice and cool, just cruising. But there's certain things you can do. I'm learning how to keep your balance. What? Whether you're on the coil, whether you're flat, you know, adjusting your feet. A lot of people sort of miss out on this. Learning how to just practice being on the board or something. That would be well as a sport. Alright. Here we are, just waiting for Ben. Coming soon, I see him running up. Let's get to a spot where I can touch the floor. Ah. Alright, here comes Ben. So then hopefully this run hopefully this run Ben gets the hang of of being on his knees taxing in and out and then once you can do that then we'll say okay let's start standing and we'll whoop, uh, and we'll go from there um let me just see if Ben is coming he is he's right behind me we got some others running right here ben. all right let me get this camera back on perfect and then, let's get your leaf on the board. What we're going to do this time, you saw what I was doing messing with the hip, you know, bringing the board into the wind. Yeah, but it's all in your leg and your hip. Just twist, twist. 
and don't worry about powering the wing. Right now you have so much wind that you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is keep your front hand straight and your back hand you pull it if you need power for whatever reason. But then from there also what you want to remember is when you stand on the board, grip your toes and your heel. Press on the board. And press on it. You know, so Wherever, you, wherever you're standing, right? So that your board goes up. But what I'm saying is that when you're on it, really press into it. Because sometimes I show you, you're standing, and you jump off for no reason. And that's because that's that's because you're not having the stance of like planting yourself. If you feel, because the thing is, you want to remember to keep the power in your hands. Okay? You don't want it that it pulls you in your whole body zone. So the power, when you're holding the wing and you feel it pulling you, it should stop right here. You shouldn't let it go all the way down into your into your hips and into your feet. Because then that's when you start bending over, that's when you start flying. So if you manage to hold it, if you manage to hold it in your arms, the power, then you could focus on pressing your feet and then you start combining it. But you want to make sure that if you feel too much, you hold it in your hands. They don't let your whole body go with it. So it's always about playing with that. Yeah, yeah, but that's... So the next thing is, the reason why it goes up, why does it go up? We spoke about it on the first day. Make sure you connect it right. Great. Like the... Yeah. So the reason why it's going up is because you're... Is because you're getting speed. Right? So with very little speed on this foil, you're going to get foiling. So what you want to do is step a little bit further ahead, right? So bring your front foot a little bit more ahead and bring your back foot a little bit also more ahead and that's going to help you to keep the foil down when you're moving. And also, if you point your board up into the wind, you slow down. If you go down with the wind, like if you start going down the shoreline, you're accelerating, you're getting a lot of speed, so of course you're going to be out of control. So you want to find that balance, but right now, if you can go on your knees or even standing, you know sometimes you see me standing, I'm not foiling, but I'm just like slowly going up. If you can do that, that's perfect. So don't focus on foiling right now. Just focus on me, the standing, and being in control. Get a little bit lower, bring your feet a little bit closer maybe, and hold the power in your arms. And if you feel too much power, go like this, and just hold it in your arms, and your feet stable. But if you pull down, then you're gonna start automatically getting more power. So all right, let's give it a shot. But you're doing good, go further out, even further. Don't be, don't be shy. But you're, yeah, so everything else is perfect though. Alright, see. Ben. You can do it. up and twist. Aye, there we go. Gotta get him on a ab workout program. All right, there we go. Nope, wrong foot then. So excited. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. That's why he jumped off, or is 
drilled the tires. It was a long day today. Going strong. This cloud has not moved. At least we have flat conditions. Almost nobody out. Still muking. Nobody's out. That's what happens in Cabrera. We have more wind than people have energy. That's what I've realized. Even though down there at Cape Beach, there's a good amount of people, but I see that people do an hour, two hour sessions, and then the rest of the day they're chilling. All right, Ben's in good position. Hard to see, obviously, from back here. So his last attempt, he, he put his left foot forward instead of his right foot. He's going toe side, he's still going toe side. I don't know if he's noticing it. You keep. Maybe he's trying out the menu. Got good position now, going up into the wind. All right, now he brought his right foot forward. Super good standing. Whoop. He's still feeling a lot of power, so he's just leaning over. You know, it could be to bring him down a size would have helped, bring him down to a 3.5. Right now we're on a 4.0. But he's a strong guy. So this is also part of it, learning how to have proper wing control to be able to control the power, right? It's important to be able to use the, a wing in a variety of wind ranges because situations like this, the wind is up and down, you know? And uh, sometimes you're gonna have that where you might be overpowered, you might be underpowered, you might be perfectly powered, and you need to know how to manage it. And a lot of people, or don't get around to managing it. But going back to it, one key thing, one key thing with all of this is that this is his second day. He probably has an hour and a half, two hours now under his belt. And of course, you've seen a lot of videos. They're playing all the time. But still, this is the, the humbling experience. Oh, standing. Right, he went from me the standing to me, I guess. I don't know what happened. Maybe he saw the person, he's a bit worried. Yeah, looks like he's a bit worried. Still getting the hang of. Alright, he's doing, he's doing good. Alright, so he's, he's going out. First leg's up. Hard on the second one. So this is the thing with wing foiling. I'm so far now, that I'll turn the camera around. This is the thing with wing foiling. It's a challenging sport, you know, kiteboarding as well, surfing as well. It's very humbling. A lot of people don't realize that these sports are difficult. They are extreme sports. They are different than skydiving, where when you mess up with skydiving, it's sort of game over. <laughs> but uh, here, there's a lot of elements, dynamics, 
So there's so many things going on, so you really have to be aware and try to essentially do damage control the whole time. Let me try to get back. Come back or whatever. All right, we're gonna come back. We'll let him decide. It'll be better for the feedback as well. This is just a dynamic sport, so it's very humbling to anybody of any level, any age, any nationality, any gender, anything. You know, there's there's just so many things going on, and that's why it's interesting. When people that are young are like, why these old people can do it, and when people that are old are like, why can these young guys do it? There's so many <laughs> factors. Oh man, that's a nice way of been catching down there. You just surf in it. Beautiful. There's so many factors, and then you realize, you know, they're like, crap, it's actually harder than I thought. Got a guy with a fat bike. It's actually harder than I thought, you know? And then you start being open, it starts opening you up to learning. And, you're doing good, you're dragging on his knees. Double take. I guess put this on my chest. Oh, he's standing. He's down. All Thing at this spot, you can even tell the turtle. Camera secure. Did you realize that you were standing with your arms to the Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, oh, oh. So that girl, the good thing about her, you know, it's a little huge one. And then you can see where I was still standing for a second. That's the thing I was going to have, you know. And it was around 250. Oh. I think I can I I so the biggest thing is, in this exercise, when we're here on our knees, you get comfortable. Don't think about it too much. I see you trying to fix the board like this, and then you try to bring the wing up, and then you go back down. Just hold it wherever, keep it up. You see how I twist it next to my body? See, I'm twisting my body. So here I'm holding the wing. What I do is I bring the wing down. I'm pulling with, I'm, I'm pulling, I'm pulling with my arms, the wing to my side, and then I'm using my hips to bring the board up. Right, so you see Ben, I hold the wing like this, boom. Are you gonna run up?
these foils are a little bit too slow. That's any shape. Let's see. Look, he's saying he's tight. <laughs> actually is starting to drop right now. But if they say 10 minutes more, in a way it's not a bad decision because it is lowering a bit. You saw me working. 
lighter. But alrighty. We'll leave it like that then. Even though next time we gotta do longer so we get more. Let's do it. See the board right there. So, so. So how was it then? Yeah. But so what happened? Why were you putting your? Your left foot forward, what happened? Uh. What? I grab the, the bottom. So, so, so all your, all your fans. What, 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 what did you, what did you do good? What did you do that was difficult? You have to talk louder, Ben. Is that how you wear your helmet normally, or is that the style? Oh, that's the style. Oh, okay, the style. Well, Ben, you didn't do, you did good. You know, you, you got standing better than last time. Uh, the only thing you gotta do is really plant yourself on the board. And you gotta hold the power in the wing. You, know, you gotta hold the, the power of the wing in your arm. Because a four meter, you know, you're a strong guy. You'll be able to handle it, no problem. And the thing is, you saw how it was faster? Like it moves quick? If we gave a smaller wing, it moves even faster. You know, so it feels like, it'll feel weird. So it's sometimes it's good to learn on a bit of a bigger wing. Obviously, if it's too strong wind, then no, but if you learn on a bigger wing, it's a little bit slower. So all you have to do is pull on it, and it gives you like power, lift, you know, it's like a truck. When you have a small wing, it's like a sports car. Fast, nimble, and uh, it's more of a challenge. But in any case, at least you took out your knee guards today, so your knees are protected. Um, everything was fine, you know. Normal day, normal day in Cabarete. Uh, we'll let Ben do the outro because it is his class. So Ben, you can do the outro and uh, off till the next session. This is day two with Ben. So see you the next time. Alright, making fun of the intro. It's all good. <laughs>